Hey, Hannah Mouse One here. Welcome back to my Scratch Devlog series in which I am making a farming game on Scratch. In this video, I start to incorporate the player into the game. I start by making the player sprites so that the player can appear to face up, down, left or right. I set it up so that the player faces the appropriate direction in relation to the direction of movement. I also separate objects such as trees and rocks from the base tiles, making them into two separate sprites. Uh, this will just make things easier down the road with props and all that stuff. Um, so that way, like when you water them for instance, I don't have to make a different sprite for every single one, I can just affect the sprite. The, like the base tile and not necessarily the plant itself. Just makes things easier. Um, so yeah, I stop the player passing into tiles with something to collide with in it, so like trees or rocks, I make it so that the player can't move through those. And I add in the walking animation based on the timer variable. Um, then I make it so the tiles and objects highlight if they are within a certain radius of the player character and the mouse is touching it. Um, the hardest part of this was trying to get it so that um, the tile, like the base tile, isn't selected if the mouse is touching the sprite over it because um, I'm pretty sure that the touching, like, is touching mouse pointer block is more about the X position of the mouse pointer, not like it can't be blocked by another object over it, so you have to like take that into account and like make it so that if it's touching the other object, it doesn't highlight that one and stuff like that. Um, but I did get it figured out. For now, I just set it up so the objects get destroyed when clicked. Um, obviously in the future I will have different effects when objects get clicked, but for now. Uh, the hardest part of this was getting the entirety of a large rock, which covers four tiles, to get destroyed regardless of which of the four tiles um, the player clicks. Um, and that was the last thing I was able to get done this week. So yeah, with that, thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next week. Bye!